Anglo-Zanzibar War was the conflict that took place on August 27th, 1896, between the United Kingdom and the Zanzibar Sultanate, a small state on the eastern coast of Africa. The war was sparked by death of the pro-British Sultan Hamad bin Thuwani and the succession of Sultan Khalid bin Bargash, whom the British did not support. In response, the British sent an ultimatum to Khalid demanding that he stand down and leave the palace. When this ultimatum was rejected, the British launched a military attack on the palace, bombing it for about an hour and then storming it. The Sultan fled to the German consulate before escaping to a German gunboat. The Zanzibari defense quickly collapsed and the Sultan's forces suffering approximately 500 casualties while only one British sailor was injured. Following the war, the British installed Sultan Hamoud. He was more favorable to their interests, and he was the head of the puppet government. The war lasted only 38 minutes and is considered the shortest war in the history of the world. It ended in 38 minutes because Zanzibari defense collapsed so quickly under the British attack. The Sultan's forces were no match for the well-equipped and trained British military, and they were quickly overwhelmed. The war was over almost as soon as it had begun, with the British achieving a decisive victory in a matter of minutes. The war was part of a broader conflict between the United Kingdom and Germany over the control of East Africa. Germany had recently established a protectorate over the mainland, which is present-day Tanzania, and the British saw the secession of Sultan Khalid as a threat to their interests within the region. The war also had wider global implications. It was one of the first major military conflicts of the so-called scramble for Africa. That was a period of intense competition between European powers for control of African territories. The war was seen as a test of the British Empire's military might and a warning to other European powers that Britain was determined to maintain its dominance in Africa. The war was one of the first to be covered extensively by the international media with reporters from around the world traveling to Zanzibar to cover the conflict. It also had a significant impact on the Zanzibari economy as the destruction of the palace and other buildings in the city led to a decline in trade and ultimately tourism. The war is still remembered in Zanzibar and there are a number of memorials and museums dedicated to the conflict and its impact on the country. These are interesting things with JC.